Hi, I am Dr. Sakim Mansoor speaking from my channel Learning Anatomy and today I am uh, going to finish with the ascending tracts of the spinal cord and the remaining tracts of the spinal tetel, spinal reticular and spinal olivary tracts and also I will discuss with you shortly visceral sensory tracts. So we will use uh, this diagram to discuss all these three basic tracts one by one and look at this spinotectal tract. So let me enlarge the picture for you. Spinotectal tract. Here you identify the spinalis. Here you see, yes, spinotectal tract. Here it is, spinotectal. Of course, it starts from the uh, dorsal root ganglion, spinotectal tract. And uh, it brings about the this afferent information from the spinovisual reflexes so due to which the head and neck uh, moves towards the source of stimulus. And uh, this spinotectal tract ascends in the anterolateral uh, column of the spinal cord and here it reaches the spinotectal tract, spinotectal tract, yes, here it is, spinotectal tract, it reaches it crosses the medulla and the pons and ends in the superior colliculus of the midbrain. You go to my lecture on the midbrain and I have mentioned the details further. This, how this is connected with the vision, the superior colliculus level and the spinotectal tract and sears. So the first order neurons in the tarsal root ganglion and the second order neurons are uh, unknown and they are in the dorsal gray column and they here terminate on the, the superior colliculus. So this was about the, over this, complete discussion of the spinotectal tract. So these fibers, you know, uh, basically the important is they cross the, uh, here at the uh, midline, cross the median chain and go as, uh, ascend as the spinotectal tract. Second is the spinoreticular tract, right? Spinoreticular tract. Uh, as the name suggests, going from uh, down to upper spinal cord to the reticular formation. So reticular formation lies in the uh, midbrain, and the medulla, pons, and the, the midbrain, medulla, pons, and the midbrain. And the first order neurons are in the dorsal root ganglion, and the uh, second order neurons um, are, are in the dorsal gray column. Their, their site is the unknown, right? So these second order neurons, exons go up in the spinal cord as spinal reticular tract in the lateral white column in combination with the lateral spinothalamic tract, right? So this is a spinal reticular tract. And let me enlarge the picture for you to elaborate it with the help of the pictures. Spino reticular. First of all, here these are the first order neurons. They have afferent information that influences consciousness. They carry the afferent information, right? Spino reticular. Yes, here you see this is the spino reticular. So, unlike uh, the spino ductal tract, uh, which crosses the midline, most of its fibers of the retic spinal reticular uh, tract do not cross. They ascend up going in, uh, through the middle of longata and the pons and here uh, the spinal um, reticular fibers uh, cross all these three reticular formation of these three uh, parts of the brain stem. Uh, middle of longata, pons and the midbrain, right? Right, so this I told you already. So last tract uh, of these three, first of all, the spino olivary tract. Of course, the first order neuron is in the dorsal root ganglions. And uh, they are uh, these uh, first order neurons and non unknown second order neurons in the dorsal gray column. 
and from the second order gray neurons exons cross the midline they cross and go up as spino olivary tract in the white matter where anterior and lateral columns unite right so this is the thing and uh, these exons from here end by synapsing on third early neuron in the middle of lambda in the inferior olivary nuclei and these third early neuron exons cross the midline and reach cerebellum via inferior cerebellar peduncle so let's uh, see all this discussion in the um, our this uh, spino olivary tract in the uh, this diagram right spino olivary tract right so this brings the um, information the axial root ganglion for certain neuron brings information from from cutaneous and proprioceptive organs right so this is the spino olivary tract right you see here this is the spino olivary tract the fibers cross here right they cross here cross the midline and right they reach then and then the, and reach the cross the and and the, the, the middle of lungata reach the inferior olivary nucleus here in the middle of lungata and then from here they cross to the opposite side and reach here towards the inferior cerebellar peduncle via the inferior cerebellar peduncle they reach the cerebellum where i told you they carry their uh, fibers of uh, these are interpreted fibers from these cutaneous and proprioceptive organs then in the last few words about the visceral sensory tracts sensations that arise in viscera are located in the thorax and abdomen enter the spinal cord through the posterior roots the cell bodies of the first order neuron are situated in the posterior root ganglia so pain and stretch receptor endings in the viscera send nerve impulses from peripheral processes of these cells factors that produce visceral pain of course right so factors producing uh, uh pain in the cutaneous uh, regions in the skin and the uh, peripheral organs and the body are different and factors producing this pain in the viscera are different what are they ischemia right if the blood supply to a an organ like heart or lungs or any spleen or kidney is, is uh, compromised uh, and uh, the blood supply is less uh, than required this this is ischemia and there will be produced pain uh, here and uh, the chemical damage right chemical damage any uh, electrolytes severe damage or the ph damage spasm of the smooth muscle this is smooth muscle of um, any like um, uh, stomach or uh, any other organ intestine intestinal spasm is quite common the spasm it causes a lot of pain right so distension if any of these organs is distended it causes pain distension is a major factor which can produce uh, you know uh, pain like right so spasm of a smooth muscle of the heart you know the cardiac pain so this is it so the visceral sensory tracts the central processes that have reached the spinal cord synapse with the second order neurons in the gray matter supposedly in the posterior or lateral gray column second order neurons and their exons unite with spinothalamic tracts and ascend and end on third order neuron in the thalamus in its ventral posterior lateral nucleus cpl ultimately exons reach the post central gyrus of the cerebral cortex so this was a brief discussion about uh, all these uh, these three tracks that 